Hello ladies and gents, here we are again, Resident Evil 3 Original. <coughs> um, last time we retrieved the blue gem. So this time we're going to be going back and opening up the gate to Raccoon Park. Alright. Let's load up our game. Let's jump right into it. Yeah, yeah, my last escape. Why don't we escape into the game? All right, here we go. <coughs> so as you know, we've, we've already inserted the green gem into the gate. I'm gonna check my map here, which most of the time I don't freaking understand anyhow. All right, so Raccoon Park Gate. I'm not even going to pretend like I know where we're going to be going here. I believe we're going to head back down this way. But actually, yes, yes, we are. Okay, excellent. We're going to go through here. There's no need to go the other way where that creature was there. Not yet, anyhow. Alright. Go right into here. And then we're going to head this way. If you wanted to, you could stop at that save room that we just passed, and you could save your progress. And go right over here. And there you have it. <coughs> oh, Raccoon City Hall. This is not the door to the park. <laughs> Alright, so once you're inside, first thing you're going to want to do... Oh, uh, yeah, it's stuck from the other side and won't open. Okay, so we got to go this way first. First thing we're going to do is we will go this way. Figure, pick a direction, right? She was zombies to take care of. What are you doing just standing there, you dummy? <laughs> In my future videos, I will try and incorporate the game audio into the video. I know that right now, the only thing you can hear is my voice, unfortunately. Okay, let's the yard, head through here. We have room, we'll pick up these herbs, and we do. I'm asking why I have an empty machine gun, or an empty assault rifle with me. <laughs> and we'll waste the space. Alrighty. Barrels are always fun and helpful. Oh, and before we do that, you're going to want to check this guy's corpse right here for shotgun shells. Although we do not possess a shotgun right now. Alright, so this is the tram car that is eventually going to lead us out of this part of the city. That first door is locked. Dispatch the zombies outside. That one will probably get back up when I come back out. Cutscene and Oh, nope, no cutscene. Okay, cutscene. I'm going to skip it since you guys can't even hear it. <coughs> and here's our issue. Take the mechanics memo. If you look at this, we're going to need oil, a fuse, and a wire power cable. Mixed oil, fuse, and power cable. So that is going to be our next task. Next task being to find those items. Carlos gives you a pack to put on. Which we're playing on easy anyhow, so we already had that extra inventory space. Very important item here. We're going to grab the wrench. Because we have to go back. Now we're going to focus on going back to get that fire hose that I referenced earlier in my videos. And we're going to use that to put out a fire and progress further in this game. So for now, <coughs> I'm going to head back. Whoa! I didn't see that one coming. I totally forgot about that. 
Ah, I tried to dodge him, but wasn't quick enough. All right, we dispatch the zombies. You're gonna want to check the car. Oh, can't carry any more items. We'll take care of that. At least we can pick up one of them, which I believe there's only one anyhow. Yep. Okay, get the gunpowder. Head back out. We're gonna definitely make a stop at the item box after this door here bursts open. Back up here. Not a good time to be stuck with only the handgun. Good thing we have plenty of handgun ammo. Alright. Once we dispatched all those zombies. Use that. I uh, here. Use that herb. I'm gonna press this button here, and get another crucial item. That will give us the bronze book, which I will show you guys where that book comes into play. Okay. Crows. Boom. Up. Oh, not yet. All right. We'll come back here. We're gonna go to our item box in our save room. Although I still have plenty of time left in this video, we've got maybe two, three minutes left, so make the most of it here. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoops. No, I don't want to combine those. Put those away. Uh, let's see. Put our gunpowder away. I'm also going to do a separate video pretty soon concerning gunpowder and just how cool it really is and all the funny and all the fun, funny, all the fun stuff you can do with it. All right, so let's grab that cable. We're going to need that book. We can put the lock pick away. Put the assault rifle away. And we're going to grab the fully loaded shotgun. Come over here. We're going to save our game. Okay. Got that door open now. I'm going to show you guys quickly. Oh, there's zombies out here. Okay, maybe I won't because I don't know how much time we're really going to have left here. All right, so we put down that zombie. I'm going to walk out here. I just want to do one more quick thing during before we run out of time here. I'm going to show you guys what to do with the bronze book. Okay, so you're going to come over here, open your inventory, hit use. I'm going to place that book there, which will allow us to grab the bronze compass. Got it. And you can also, if you wanted to take the bronze book back, you can. I don't know that it serves any other purpose in the game. I don't think it does. But now we are simply going to head back to the save room, save our game, and end this video. So... As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate all your support. Uh, the next video we will focus. The next video will be focusing on getting all the necessary items to get the tram car working. Thanks for watching.